and welcome back. We've got another book review. This book is Sanctus by Simon Toyne. Um, I didn't really know anything about this book when I started it, uh, or, or, you know, I didn't go looking for it. I had no idea anything about it. Uh, I happened to be in the library looking for a book. Um, you know, I was kind of walking around, going up and down the fiction uh, area, and saw this on a shelf, and it looked interesting. So I pulled it out. And I mean, the cover looks kind of cool, right? With the, uh, the markings on it and Sanctus. It's an internationally best-selling novel. And then it says revelation or devastation, uh, frightening, ruthless, and relentlessly entertaining. So I thought, wow, this is interesting. Let me, let me see what this is about. And I read the inside of the dust jacket, which I'll read to you now because this is what I thought, okay, this, this is interesting. So uh, it says here, uh, Sanctus, a man climbs a cliff face in the oldest inhabited place on earth, a mountain known as the Citadel, a Vatican-like city-state that towers above the city of ruin in modern-day Turkey. But this is no ordinary ascent. It's a dangerous, symbolic act. And thanks to the media, it is an event witnessed by the entire world. Few people understand its consequence, but for foundation worker Catherine Mann, and a handful of others, it is evidence that a revolution is at hand. For the Sancti, the cowled and secretive monks who live inside the citadel, it could mean the end of everything they have built. They will stop at nothing to keep what is theirs, and they will break every law in every country and even kill to hold it fast. For American reporter Liv Adamson, it spurs the memory of the beloved brother she lost years before, setting her on a journey across the world and into the heart of her own identity. There, she will make a discovery so shocking that it will change everything. Cool, right? I mean, doesn't that sound like something you want to read? I thought so. So I got it, and I read it in... Uh, I don't remember how many days, let's see, uh, about two days, three days, it took me three days to read. And uh, it turned out to be really good. It was like kind of a, a suspenseful thriller uh, and with, uh, with, a, whole, with a, a mystery thrown in there. It was really, really interesting. Um, the book complete is, how many pages? 486 pages. Um, and so basically, it is, uh, again, I'm going to try and make this spoiler free, but just giving you bare bones info. It's about a secret organization called the Sancti, uh, and they are protecting something, which you find out basically immediately in the book called the Sacrament. And the entire journey of the book is what is the Sacrament? What is this that they're, you know, that they're willing to do anything to protect and not let it be known? And it was just really, really interesting. Um, there were a lot of little pieces, uh, like code breaking they had to do, putting things together, um, you know, it, reminiscent of the Da Vinci Code, but not as detailed. And also the Da Vinci Code was more rooted in like, uh, you know, uh, things more people would know about, like modern artworks and how, what they interpret and this and that. This was more mysterious, I thought, um, but it was very, very good. Uh, so this group called the Sancti, supposedly, well, according to the book, it's the root of all, uh, of everything, of all Christ Christianity. It's where it all started. It's what it all comes from, according to the book. It was very, very interesting. Again, it was a roller coaster ride. It was definitely... Um, very interesting, very, uh, compelling read. Um, it was a nice, it was well-written, definitely well-written. The characters were well-developed. You did care about them right away. Um, the story I thought made sense, at least within the, uh, world of the book. So it was definitely, it was interesting. Um, it kept me entertaining. Uh, the, the trek or search for what is the sacrament definitely keeps you reading. And it, what's, what I liked about it was that you have your own ideas throughout, like, could it be this? Could it be that? Uh, there are little uh, 
what I thought to be clues here and there that, you know, try and make you think what, what could it be. And the revelation is way at the very, very, very end, which is also good. It's not, it, it, it's not like revealed too soon where it's, where it becomes anticlimactic. It was, I thought, very good. Um, you know, a lot of uh, cloak and dagger, a lot of, um, uh, there are, the police get involved. It, it's really, really a good book. Um, I would, I would definitely would recommend it, uh, even though, like I said, I had never heard of this book. I had never heard of this author. I believe it is his first uh, book. I believe there was a, a, let's see, did he put that in here? Yeah, first book. He mentions that it was his first book. Actually, the book is 484 pages total. I, I had included the acknowledgments. Sorry about that. 484 pages. But in his acknowledgments, he does mention it's his first book. Um, he's British writer. He's worked in British television for 20 years, according to this. He's a writer, director, and producer, and has worked on several award-winning shows, one of which won a BAFTA. Uh, oh, and it says this is his first volume in the Ruin trilogy. I did not know that, so I just learned something new too. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad about that. So this is apparently a trilogy of books that he has written. It doesn't say in here what are the other two. I will have to Google that. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know. And um, so, yeah, let me, um, I will do that. And I'm definitely going to read the other two. Um, but like I said, it was very good. Um, you know, I, I recommend it. I think you would like it. If you like mysteries, if you liked, if you like thrillers, uh, you would like it. If you like the Da Vinci Code, those type of books, I think you would definitely like it. Uh, yeah, I, I do think it's a good book. Um, I'm going to check quickly what the other two books are in the trilogy, and then I'm going to let you know. So we're going to pause this, and I'm going to check that. Okay, so the other two books, book two is called The Key, and book three is called The Tower. So I'm definitely going to be reading uh, both of those in addition to this one and doing reviews. So definitely make sure you, uh, if you like this content, Click the, uh, the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Share it if you think anyone else would be interested in these books. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss any. Or subscribe so you, you, you know, subscribe to my channel and you can see the other videos I do and book reviews. And also click the uh, bell notification so you get notified when I do other reviews. I have several coming up. I'm reading a book right now that I'm almost through with. So there'll be another uh, good review. But definitely if you liked it, subscribe, like, share. Um, and yeah, thanks again. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.